So guys, we're gonna do an interview. Interview session with Brocode. Bro code. Okay, yeah. We're live. She doesn't want to come. Mm. As long as she's not crying. Yeah, she's in our room. I think I'm going to Antina is in my mama's room. Ooh. Our best like. So, as you guys already know, Brocode is a big business mogul. Mm. Yeah. Business mogul and uh, entrepreneur. And. Okay. All round superstar. Superstar businessman. Let's figure this out. So, Brocode wanted to interview me. He has been trying to interview me for a hot minute. Mm. And things have not been working out with this interview. Why is this thing moving? Very long or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Are so, we set? Yeah, we're set. <laughs> so, guys, you guys, you're amazing. You're so nice. Nice to meet you here. And it's amazing seeing you guys here. Today, we want to, I have to interview Cora, ask <laughs> a little bit of questions like you guys you i didn't even know that this page is full, full of supporters and toxic people you know a lot of toxic messages that i've seen over these few days and you know when you're right now that i'm on vacation i, I am able to lay back and have more time to look at things that are not so serious you know and I saw that, man, Cora, how, how do you deal with all these negative comments? Like, okay, let me just start with um, the first question I have for you. Cora, how did you move from um, being Cora of Lagos to... First of all, before we even start that question, mm -hmm. what does Cora mean? What is, like, I, even me, I don't know how your name... That name Cora came about. Like, I always knew you as Chukufunaya Obidi. So, <laughs> but I was, I just got used to the fact that you're Cora. Just like you guys, you've changed my name to Brocode. So, <laughs> how did Cora come about? Is it through a particular type of? Was there an incident or it's just okay? Let's know. And now we've better from the word Cora. We have Koreans, you know. <laughs> so, like, over to you. So, for those of you who have read my book, you already know what happened when I, was, when I turned 20 years old. Something really drastic that changed the very fiber of my being happened. And after which, I picked up a fight style called capoeira. So, I used to go train capoeira with some of my capoeirista friends. And we used to, like, dance and sing and play the... The different, um, you know, just play capoeira, the different things that we used to do back in the day. Um, guys, during this entire interview, you can send stars, okay? Really? Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the Hoda, the Hoda is a, the place where we all play. In the Hoda, wow. I like the way your own is focused. How did you do it like that? I don't even know. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's dimmed the background. Uh -huh. I, don't, I, I don't know. Okay. In the Hoda, everyone who plays capoeira knows that the Hoda is where all the people who play capoeira come together. We dance, we sing, we fight, we do florios, and we play capoeira. 
everybody had a name some people's names were peacock other people were spider other people were and for me when they were giving me my name because i was quite new to the whole that but everybody just said this girl she can do everything only you you can dance you can sing you can you can play capoeira you can fight your kicks are perfect you know you, you are cora I was like, what is Cora? Cora at that time was one trending cartoon that used to go, yeah, that used to be on, on TV. The, the legend of Cora. And they just started calling me Cora. Cora, 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 Cora. Before you know it, Cora stuck. And so that time I was in a dance group and everybody stopped calling me Anita or calling me Chuku Fumnaya or calling me anything. Everyone just started calling me Cora. For me, I loved it because Cora was so easy. Everyone called me Cora. Hey, you know? And Cora made me feel strong. So I always just used to be like, when they call me Cora, I felt like I can do anything. Terry Hash, thank you for 50 stars. And that's how Cora stuck for my university days. And then I started dancing. I started dancing with a partner. Then I was doing Latin ballroom, salsa, merengue, bachata, kizomba, and all the styles of dance that I was doing. And I, I was just called Cora. Everybody knew me as Cora and it became my name, Cora. Um, at first it was like an alter ego where when you call me Cora, I'll feel, you know, I'll perform, I'll dance, I'll fight, yeah, Cora, yeah. Now it just is me. Medina Bilal, thank you so much for 50 stars. When I was about to open my Facebook and Instagram pages, they asked me, what do you want to put as your name? <laughs> I couldn't put Chuku from there, which is how many letters? <laughs> 13 letters long. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't put it that. As at that time, my, name, my middle name was Anita, but there was just something about Anita that was just so cute and meek, and that was not me. Naisha Hill, thank you so much for 99 stars. After that remarkable event that happened when I was 20 years old happened, I was far from Anita. I was far from meek cute, nice. I became this fierce woman who was a go-getter, uh, you know, a solid, a solid woman. And I just embraced Cora for what it made me feel. And now it's stuck 13 years later and I'm still Cora. Years. Wow. Yes. So you got the name before your, during your high school or after your high school? After university. After university? Yes. Okay, 13 years. Yes, 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 I can relate. Okay, good, good. About good. 13 years. Nancy Lacaro, thank you for 310 stars. Nancy Lacaro. Appreciate nice you. Nice to meet you. So, good. Now we go to the path. How did you transform or tr move from Cora of Lagos? Because I, ha I had known you when I was hanging out with your sister while in med school. Yes. Yeah. Like um, 2009, 2008. Mm -hmm. And I, how did you transform from that to being Cora, who was just a, a regular girl in Lagos, to being Cora, a homeowner in two continents? Because there <laughs> had to be a progression, you know? So, like, so that people would just think you just, you, you don't fly into flying. There's a progression of events. You know, some people just think, you just wake up today and you just become something. It's true you. You know, over to you. Let me before I share what I learned from you. Oh wow. Uh how did I become? Basically, I am I like always came out of my comfort zone. Whenever I feel too comfortable in something, I just fly out. At first I was dancing. I was dancing back up, I was, and I danced and danced, and I never stopped dancing. And as soon as I felt too comfortable in dancing, I picked up another gift that God gave me, and I started singing. And I'm going to keep picking up the different things. Yes, my love. Yes, but just not in the camera, but you can come. Yes, you can, my love. So I just never i hate my comfort zone my comfort zone irritates me i hate comfort i hate mediocrity I, I hate i hate anything that is just like bleh, normal i always embrace my god my mama mama no 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 stop now she's You're doing this on purpose go get your time go get your time okay go get your own time well, i don't need to okay I said, go get your time. Say you don't need water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't stop my water relates. 
Naisha Hill, thank you for 50 stars. Oh, Appreciate you, you Naisha. Um, so yeah, I hate my comfort zone and that's how I got here that's by awesome. squashing everything that made me feel comfortable and just embracing Ooh. all of the challenges that came with being an entertainer. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. When I'm happy, I transmit happiness. And when I'm sad, you guys have seen me crying. <laughs> you know, so like, yeah, I just, I just embrace everything that is me. Abraham Kaglala, thank you for 50 stars. Appreciate you. Much love. Okay, so, um, how about the hardworking part? How did that yes. translate to you being a homeowner? Some people just want to be artists and they think that it doesn't take hard work. We artists, we work harder than even carpenters and bricklayers. Terry Hash, thank you so much for 200 stars. She says, I love Lil Juni's voice. Thank you. You just have to work. Yeah. You have to work. You can't just be a celebrity and sit down in your house and they get paid. Some people have gotten to that point in their life where they just sit down in their house and they get paid to show up at places. But for me, I knew that I was nowhere there and it was just always me versus the algorithm and being the best version of myself every day, a better version of myself than I was yesterday. In front of you guys, you guys have seen me grow. You've seen my, you know, you've seen my growth. You've seen me, you know, be uh, an okay singer to being a really good singer. You've, you've seen me be a whack to being better, just literally working every day. It's hard work. It's just like any other job. You put in the hours and you see the difference. Juliet Sullivan, thank you for 4 dollars super thanks. Christy Hardwell, thank you for 100 stars. Appreciate you. Much love. Mm? I'm just giving you on the channel. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, that's basically it. Bro code, any other thing for you? Any other question? <laughs> okay, now, you said you work very hard. I need to ask, I need you to clear this. Do you have a job? Yes. What is your job? What is your job description? <sighs> it's even hard. <laughs> yeah, you know why I'm asking this question? A lot of, I've come across several comments no that. no june don't do that don't climb on the you're gate going like to that break it you're going to break the gates <laughs> so i've come across several um, questions saying that go get a, a job go get a real job so i need you to expatiate on the fact that do you even have a job no, i do i want it <laughs> hold on juni go get your time so go and get your iPad and bring it here and play. Go bring it. Don't climb on that gate again, June. Go bring it. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Maybe I should carry her to you, Getty. But give her to her. Ah, court order is the problem. June, June should just have been here right now. But can you imagine the useless court order is preventing June to come here? Imagine you're with your own kid, but you can't even express yourself with your kid publicly. That is the problem so june is trying to be uh, like play or play pranks and all that but she needs she doesn't have to appear in, inside this camera you know so okay hmm, that is fast do you have a job from your own understanding please define your job description my job description is entertaining you. Entertainment. <laughs> I glow for a living. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this to everybody because it's, it's actually going to take a really open mind, a really expanded mind to understand what I do for a living. It's, people are not going to get it, except you're a content creator, then you understand. 
I'm a videographer. Okay. I'm a photographer. I'm a singer. I'm a songwriter. I'm a performer. I'm a software developer contributor. I'm a social media expert. I'm a musician, distributor, oh. publisher. I am the owner of my own brand and the curator of my brand. I work with stylists, work with photographers, work with videographers. I curate my brand. I create my music. I open up my discography, my YouTube, my, my Spotify, my TikTok, my Facebook, all of these accounts, all curated and managed by me, the artist, me. As I age, I am aging, yet I am flourishing. I have only but a short time. This is not gonna last forever. All of this, all of this will go salmon quay for ground. Before it's salmon quay, I need to build a future for I and my girls. This is what I'm doing. You cannot say that I don't have a job because I'm not in a suit and a tie, walking in a corporate building. I am my own building. I am my own corporate building. And I do this 24 hours, seven days a week, every day, all day. It's what I do. You don't understand it, it's okay. I love you still. And if you do understand it, I appreciate you and thank you for supporting me. I am an author. I have written a best-selling Amazon bestseller several times. I, these are all the things that I do and I love, but because I love it so much, it doesn't even feel like I'm working. I don't feel like I have a job. I don't feel like I'm going to work. I wake up in the morning and I'm so excited to come to you guys. I'm so grateful for you guys to have created and still cur curating this community. Latonia McGriff, thank you for 100 stars. Appreciate thank you. Guys. So this is me. This is what I do. I am, and I'm not jobless. But I like that you think that I'm jobless. Good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm jobless. So you guys, you've heard for the long, she just said it herself. For me, for the longest time I had known Cora, she was into dancing. And you know, dancing is a job. It might not be the regular kind of job in the office, um, like an IT programmer or a, a business analyst or a bank manager or banker or um, salespersons. That is the regular traditional kind of job. In 2023, right from the, um, like the um, 2020s upwards, there had been a very dramatic shift in the kind of things called career. You see somebody shooting videography on the mountain and he's any more than you, a banker. He's enjoying himself on the mountain shooting fishes or doing some things that you think is leisure or pleasure thing. And it's a real career. Because of this streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and all those platforms, you find out that that is a job. And the job is to make some people happy you know there are people that have to create that's called creators and there are people that have to consume the content created by the creators so she is a creator she makes a lot of people happy and some people are actually sad by whatsoever she does because you can't please everybody there's no right or wrong answer you whatsoever you do whether it's positive some people are going to see it as negative if it's negative some people are still going to see it as positive the, this person, I don't, let me just say his name, Adolf Hitler, whatsoever he committed those days, he was seen as being positive by some people on earth, and some people saw him as negative. So no matter who you are, even current Pope, the Pope of the Catholic Church, some people still see him as negative. So it doesn't really, there's no right or wrong as I grab. So he, she, had, she just said that she, she has a job. So you guys, I hope you understand the description of her job. I am right an artist. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have to be a banker like you. She doesn't have to work in the, in the warehouse or in the garage or in, in, in NASA or in airports or on the farm. She doesn't have to be a farmer. Her phone is her device. That is her cutlass at her home and her mattock or tractor. Then she uses it to generate content. The content is the produce of her farm. You know, when you plant oranges, seedling it, it germinates and reproduces and facebook in rewarding content creators put a button and said give them stars you guys saying that she defrauded some people by um, getting stars it's it's appreciation just the same way you go to church and you feel you need to pay some offering to somebody that made you feel in the spirit that is that is the same thing sometimes you don't feel happy you watch color and you feel like eclectic and ecstatic and high you know you just press the star button so that is a gift and that is not fraud 
because I've seen some comments saying, ah, fraud, you do fraud, you do fraud. Do they even understand what is fraud? Gifting is not fraud. If gifting is fraud, then all these countries collecting um, bailouts, you know, that the other, like when um, Ukraine, Ukraine got a lot of gift from America, right? They got from the European Union, they got from everywhere. They got gifts to prosecute a war with Russia. So Ukraine should be called fraudsters, right? Because they were given gifts. Gifting is not fraudulent. So you guys that say you know it all, you should understand that it is not. Do, do you understand that it's not easy to create something? So you want, do you have something to say? If Thank I go you. To the next um, I appreciate that, bro. Code. I really do. What? I'm coming from a man like you, a man that's supposed to be a Nigerian man, you know, a chauvinistic man. A woman should stay at home. A woman should, you know. It's. I really appreciate you saying that. Um, I'm not frauding anybody. Anyone who sends me stars is out of sheer love. I love them, and they love me too. It's. It's just sheer love. Okay. And I'm not a fraud star. I'm not the whatever you guys want me to be. Or need me to be. Yes. Some people just need me to they be. They project it yes. out, hoping you would become that. I'm not that. It's not gonna be. I'm not that because it's not me. I'm not a fraud star. I'm not a. You can't. I'm not a criminal. I'm not any of these things. Geraldine, thank you for fifty stars. And no matter how much you project that, it's never gonna be me because I'm not those things. Pat Will, thank you for hundred stars. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yes. Good. So. This question is going to hit somewhere, but I just have to ask it. <laughs> you know, you're seeing that as there, there are some of my friends back home that when they find out that I'm related to you, they say, Cora is full of controversy. Can you address, do you mind addressing what, why they say controversy? What do you think? I think that if you think I'm full of controversy, then I am full of controversy. Whatever you think of me. Accept it like that. Jennifer, thank you for 500 stars. Elise, thank you for 100 stars. Love you. I believe that humans will always see something about you. And I respect the opinion of every single human. If you believe me to be controversial, you are right. If you believe me not to be, you're also right. If you believe me to be a disgusting human being, you are right. If you believe me to be a great woman, you are also right. Whatever you believe is your truth and you are entitled to your truth. Nobody can take your truth away from you. I will just tell you what I believe about myself. Thank you so much, Georgia. Thank you so much, she says, for the job of being a full-time mother. Full-time mm. mommy. The only That's time you see me working yeah. is when I'm not with my kids. Was. Tev Wacho, thank you for 100 stars. Vanessa Pitts, thank, thank you, you for 50 stars. stars. So, if you, anything you think about me, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, you are right. So, just believe it. If you think I'm controversial, you're right. What I will tell you for a fact is I am just living my life. And I implore you to please live your life too because at the end of the day, your life is very important. And the happiness in your life is more important than anything in this world. So if you're living your life and people always have an issue about you living your life, calling you controversial, calling you all sorts of things, they are right. They are absolutely right. Okay? Good. Mm -hmm. So now we go to this big question. About two years ago, there was a katakata everywhere. Yes. Noise. The whole internet shook. <laughs> now it led to something terrible, but... Fine, we are all alive. So, I want to ask you a question. Will you one day likely remarry? Remarry? Yes. <laughs> you broke <wood. laughs> I know this question, you're not prepared for it. But I just had to chip it in so that I, 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 I won't make you face faults. Let's see. Will I one day remarry? I believe that one of the most beautiful things, JJ, thank you for 200 stars. In this life is love. Love is a beautiful thing. Ah! When I first fell in love, my energy to become successful was double. Hey! That love energy, just to be able to hold your partner and say, we did this. You know, that energy. I love that energy. Love is a beautiful thing. Zina Noel, thank you for 100 stars. 
but I'm not going to look out. Like, before I fell in love, I was desperate. I was asking God, God, give me my own thing. I was too desperate. I'm not going out of my way for it anymore. Right now, I have two missions. And that's to make sure my daughters have great lives. And that's just to make sure that my family and everyone around me is taken care of. I'm taken care of. These are my these are my missions. Oh, I don't want to miss anybody. Oye Buchi, thank you for 50 stars. Dion, thank you for 300 stars. Sonia Birds, thank you for 100 stars. Appreciate you. So yeah, that's my... Hey, guys. That's my mission. My mission is to make sure my girls are good. Oye Buchi, Ina Wongo, Wokolo, thank you for 3,000 stars. How do you do it, Yefuchi? <laughs> thank you so I much. And you're new. Welcome to the Coravas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh -uh. You missed a lot of people right ah. now. Hey, Sabrina Randall, thank you for 100 stars. Majori, thank you for 50 stars. Irene Mitalo, thank you for 99 stars. Oh my gosh. Peter Tom Compton, thank you for 100 stars. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you. So, will I remarry? If I find love again, why not? Love, I cannot run away from love. If I mm. find love again, I will remarry. But Tonya agree. thank you so much for 50 stars. But until then, mm -mm. Mm. but if I find love again, oh, well, <laughs> I'll say, bro, coach. <laughs> come on, come on. I don't find love. But if I, you know, it's up to love. Black cutie Cassandra Reese, thank you for 100. And you know when love hits you? Ah, you know now, you know, yes. you know. Uh -huh. Hmm. Uh -huh. I'm, 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 nice answer. So you're, you're here to, for your kids, take care of them. And what if you don't find love again? Then I move with my music and my fan love. This love is also a very yeah, yeah, strong this is love. love. Yeah, yeah. When I was in the hottest time of my life, my fans saved my life. Mm -hmm. My fans, my family, my fans, the love you guys gave me is the reason why I'm in this house. You guys, I don't, I don't play with the love that I, you have for me. I love you and I thank you. So I would do with fan love, you know, and friends. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Period. <laughs> Shiva, thank you for a hundred stars. Appreciate you. Marilyn Dodds, thank you for a hundred stars. Tonya Holland, thank you for a hundred stars. Lioness Linda Ajay, thank you for fifty stars. Appreciate you. Good. Much love. So, um, Shiba, thank you for a hundred stars. Tessa Bennett, thank you for a hundred stars. Jemima Howard, thank you for a hundred stars. By the way, bro code is live, so you guys go and show him some love as well. Majori Salmon, thank you for a hundred stars. Ja, thank not, you for Celine, thank you for a hundred stars. Appreciate you. Ah, Liz Marie, thank you for 50 stars. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate Love you. you guys. Olutoyo, <laughs> thank oh you for 100 stars. <laughs> star party. It's just star a star party. party. In fact, you start dancing down to it's stars. It's a star party. It's a star party. It's a star party. <laughs> Bro Code is interviewing me, and Bro Code is a typical Nigerian man. Like a typical Nigerian man. So his yeah. opinion is very well appreciated. Katy, thank, thank you, you for, for 50, 50 stars. stars. Appreciate you. You have Bro Code's first star. Please. Send vocal stars. He doesn't, he's not monetized, so stars mean a lot to him. Thank you so much. Cecile Elaine Vaughn, thank you for 500 stars. Terry Hash, thank you for 50 stars. Thank you, appreciate guys. you. I love you guys, wherever you are from. You already know I love you. I take you guys everywhere. Even when they say no cameras allowed, you see me, I'll be hiding you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate hmm. you. Nice. So, guys, um, the next question. It's, it's, you, would, you didn't prepare for this, but I would still ask it. Anyways, so why I need you to answer. Some people are saying that, um, does it make sense? There's this narrative that some of your fans, not your fans, because I know they are not your fans. They are just against you. They said you're trying to dress inappropriately in my presence. That maybe I'm looking at you in a very per perversive kind of way. <laughs> What do you think? What do you have to say about that? Before I, I say that, what I have to say. Yeah. I think anybody who's thinking that way has a right to think that way based on their own personal experiences. And you're always going to project or see life through your own your eyes, own your own lenses. Eye. Yeah. Maybe you've been through inappropriate relationships and you think that everybody on the, on the face of the earth is 
going through the same thing as you, but no. Zina Noel, thank you for 100 yeah. stars. Appreciate you. Broco and I, it's almost like yeah. daddy and daughter at this point. Daddy? Yeah. More like brother and sister. <laughs> but I respect him as much as I would respect someone in that authority to me. Broco is like more like a brother. Too much family, you know? Too much family. No inappropriate. I would never do that with my sister's husband. That's inappropriate. Thank you. But you're, you're only projecting that because you have gone through that. Thank and I you. understand. So that's why I'm not quick to say or block or to do because I know you're only seeing life through your lenses. And that's okay. But just don't be inappropriate with everybody because you need to get through therapy to be able to see you are being inappropriate with other people. I don't have anything to do with the bro code. This is my brother for life. Period. Good. And you putting that on us and projecting it on us can have some adverse effects on us as creators. It can you can have the adverse effects on our psyche, on our happiness and all of that. So please Whatever you. you're going, oh Definitely Donna, oh my God, Ellis yeah. Lelaine, hundred stars, appreciate you, Latonya McGree, fifty stars, appreciate you, Donna Boya, thank you, ah ah, Nancy Lacaro, don't enter the building, oh, three hundred and ten stars, Rosaline Snow Burgess, thank you for hundred stars, appreciate you much. Lacaro, Lacaro, OG Korea, OG Korea, Nancy Lacaro, OG Korea, Geraldine Patton, thank you for fifty stars, and for anyone who I have not filled acknowledge please accept my apologies as i answer these questions i have nothing to do with bro code bro code is my my and if you know anything about me you know that nancy is my own in camp basically there's no way in this life or Doesn't make next sense. that i will ever betray my my sister so, so yes yeah he's technically my brother like you guys don't get it like in the whole world there are a billion men out there why would why will she be diverting affection towards me like it doesn't Gee, even Stella, matter. thank you for 50 stars celeste thank you for 50 thank you stars. guys it Appreciate doesn't you. work so all those people on the other side of the koreans shut your mouth up and <laughs> 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 broke a vex, so. <laughs> I, I don't vex because the thing not, the, you know me I, I i have a thick skin so when i read it i don't smile i just like what is happening here i don't get simone this, alexander this thank you so page. much for 50 stars Broco, thank can you, you JJ encourage for 100. To thank you Duelanda love for 50 stars can you can i encourage to request her fans to ask the radio station to play her new song when it launches yes please guys when my song comes out please oh, ask your radio stations to play to please is, is it american radio station or yes Nigeria? american Thank radio you, stations they can actually request songs on Ameri stars. american radio stations can request songs without you paying for it i thought you need to pay for them to play your song no this the viewers can actually request for songs wow yeah okay now you guys over to over you, to you. Over you know afro afro music Af african music is now Cora. going international yeah yeah you might see Cora that she's not so popular like davido and then whiskey and co but you find out that rema and all these guys they are all entering the the whole world so you guys share, show her some love you know you, you just show her love let the radio station play her song so that she can also be known maybe um Chris Brown will just call you and say, wow, Cora, let's collaborate. Or ah, hey! Wow, you My got, life will change, you. You do was, was. <laughs> was, was for Chris Brown. Oh. Yolanda Love, thank you for 50 stars. Thank you, stars. Felicia, for Appreciate 50 Appreciate you. So, before, over backwards, let me go back to the part that you have a job. Mm -hmm. The other day, you went to somewhere and you performed and you were paid. That is a job. So, regardless of what happens on Facebook or Instagram and all these social media platforms, even if you were not on, you have a job, some people, as long as someone can call you and say, come and perform and entertain my guest, it's a job. Do you get it? Um, um, Celine Dion and um, this, um, what is this woman's name? Beyonce. That is the, practically what yes they do it on a larger scale you're doing your own as a and maybe up and coming up and coming it's still the same thing it's a job and you people should understand that there are different kind of job the kind of job Cora is doing is called a quantum leap job the kind of job that if you are successful what you achieve in a short time 
it's, it's what some other jobs give you in a lifetime. Hmm. Like it's, it's like a footballer. A footballer can be signed for one year. The, the remuneration or the payment is like this. The, 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 what they, what, what me or some other guys will get in a lifetime working as an IT analyst. So it's a job. So you shouldn't say how did she got a she built she bought a house under two years or one year. She's in entertainment. Entertainment is different. It's not like your regular job, um, brick and mortar, white collar job that you wear tie and sit down and you're waiting for your um, minimum wage. That is different. This one doesn't have minimum wage. It it, it can break the ceiling. <laughs> So thank you so much. Ibina. Oh my Ibi, gosh. Ibi, Ibi so many, Ibi Minad, so many stars. So Ophelia Oka, so thank you for 200 it. stars. Abi Briama, thank you for 50 stars. Tev Wacho, yeah. thank you so much for 50 oh. stars. She says, Coravers, they start the star party just like that. Was, was. <laughs> yeah, so Tasha. Oh, but they started star party. I'm telling you. This is my first time to witness a star party. Yeah. I want to see. Jeez. Tasha Anu, thank you for 50 stars. Nicey Blonde, thank you for 50 stars. You're yes, new. Welcome. Yes, Nancy, blonde, like blonde. Yes. Thank you. Welcome to the Carvers. Geraldine Patton. Thank you for fifteen stars. Nana Seva Akiepim. Thank you for one thousand two hundred stars. Oh, was, was. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, Shina White. Thank you for fifty stars. Welcome to the Carvers. Um, yes. Yeah, so basically. What I'm doing, like my bro code and my, you know, senior man <laughs> said, is a, it's an entertainment job. It's not, it's like, I'm not Beyonce, but I'm doing it in my own community and I'm loving it. I love my people. They love me too. I entertain them. I was, was, was for them. I give them new music. I come here, I cook with them. I have a great time with them. And this is the, the you know, this is my life, basically. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah, so you guys heard it now. It's not the regular kind of job. And you telling her to go get a job, it's like telling her to go backwards. That was what you were doing maybe like before you When I just came out of, came of out of university. university. I remember then that you were offered a job somewhere. Yeah, Access Bank. Access Bank. I and did it, it for like, a little bit and I what couldn't. What is this? <laughs> And then you chose you chose the career of dancing, and your dad was like, "Oh my God, what is this girl doing?" You know, she paid her price. You guys still, you know, there's there's a part you didn't answer. Like, mm. one does not fly into flying. You must learn to crawl, then walk, then fly. You didn't just wake up one day and become Cora, and people start reckoning with you. When you came out from Access Bank, you were it was a risk because all career has risk. Your dad was always saying, "What are you going to amount to dancing?" Dancing all over the streets of Lagos. I remember when you used to dance at Silverbed Galleria. And my Nancy would be telling me that, wait, what is my sister even doing with this Indian people dancing up and down? <laughs> but that led to something. From the dancing, you got to be known. It led, led to your music. It led to different. It's a path. The late Steve Jobs said something. He said that sometimes the, the, the connect, you connect the dots. Yeah. Sometimes you don't know what way, what path is leading you to where you're going. The path you're passing through might seem like foolishness. But when you get there and you look backwards, you see the dots being connected. So when she stopped going to Access Bank and started dancing all over, everywhere, and her dad was always complaining that your sister is a nurse, she's so focused and disciplined and you're just dancing everywhere after your university degree. Today, the dot is... is is you can look backwards and you'll be like, oh, that is why, that is why maybe fate or providence took her through that route. So guys, thank you. You good. can acknowledge. acknowledge. Let's, let me acknowledge the people who have sent stars. So so far, we have fifty stars from Tasha and Nude. We have. Melissa Gibson, thank you for 100 stars. I Belinda, give me stars now. Belinda Paul. <laughs> thank you, guys. I'm just kidding. Belinda Paul, thank you for 100 stars. Um, Dorit Samantha Simon, thank you for 300 stars. And um, of course, Olutoyo, thank you for 100 stars. Appreciate you. Welcome to the Carvers, Melissa Gibson. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. So let me even bring something if I ask you the next question. Do you know how much a tweet from Cristiano Ronaldo what right now? No. If Cristiano Ronaldo should tweet your product or should talk about you, how much you pay him per, per Instagram or Facebook post? You pay over $2 million right now, Cristiano Ronaldo. What does it mean? It means there's something about that personality 
For yeah. imagine Cristiano Ronaldo just tweet about you. So you guys shouldn't say Cora is getting stars. There's something about her. That is why people love her. Okay, so all you guys saying that she's getting stars from people, from um, regular people, and they are diverting to her. She's an entertainer. She that is how entertainers are. Cristiano Ronaldo should be is one of the highest paid footballers, footballers, right? And people should still gift to him. That is to show you that entertainers are different. Whoa, now, let me acknowledge. Nancy let me acknowledge. Tasha, I know. Thank you for 100 stars. Oh. Nancy, thank you so much for 530 stars. Appreciate OG, you. OG, OG, OG. <laughs> it feels like OG. Man. So, and for me, we, apart from now, like this last year and this year, I learned a lot from the online space and especially from my wife and Cora. You know, having to understand that work, there are different pathways to work. Me, me I'm more of the brick and mortar traditional kind of work guy i didn't understand online things till i saw cora and i had to re realign my my oh. okay you can go stay there okay baby so if you don't understand online things or how content or all these things work you need to calm down and learn and open your mind and stop being judgmental before, I didn't even understand these things. I didn't understand how, when Cora said she was going to be doing online things, I said, how are you going to feed? How are you going to do this? Who's going to stream it and all those things? But I had to understand it when I now saw that, oh, this is for real. Because apart from Cora, there are several creators in Nigeria that are doing so fine through online platforms. They don't have, a, they don't have an office. They don't even have a single company. Like, they have a, an online company, but they don't have brick and mortar things. And they are doing far, far, far better than those of us or those people that go to work. So sometimes you need to calm down with what you know and open your mind and appreciate what you don't know, okay? So, thank you, Ibin, Ibin, Ibin Mina. Ibin Mina, Daka. Thank you so much, Rita Afua. Thank you for 50 stars. Did I end up getting my money back from Meta? <laughs> no, I didn't go to Meta to get money. I went to Meta to ask why my account has been, you know, live videos been demonetized since the beginning of the year, you know, but um, we were not able to get through, but we're still working on it on the back end. Thank you guys for your continuous support. Geraldine Payton, thank you for 1,450 stars. Geraldine Payton, oh my God. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Much love. Yeah, so you guys, you've seen there are several things. And if Cora wants to even be a job creator, she could just start teaching people how to dance. Move. You, you created something like that. Move with Cora. Move with Cora. So like... But now I just do it for free on my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. There are several things. You could start... Um, you could even teach people how to be... How to maintain this no. fitness after birthing two kids. There are different things you can do. You don't have to work for in a brick and mortar space before people acknowledge that you're hardworking. It's all about you understanding what you are doing. Okay. My um someone said you don't have to get a job, there are different types of good, right? So the next question. Ah, Broco. <laughs> what happened to Broco? <laughs> the next question I have to ask you now is. You know, half of your face is cutting out of my video. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know. You know, I didn't. I thought the focus should be you. Now half of yours is cutting out. It's not. It's not cutting out. Put your full face inside. Oh my god. Now, let me even bring something from this online space and bring it to me. Apart from the online algorithm, let me say, so, explain something that's why someone asked me, someone I went to high school with, I saw his comment the other day and was saying, why are you online? Why are you say, showing your face online? You should just, you're a quiet person, you should just be. And when I, I thought about that, I remember the woman, Mrs. Doris, she, she, you know I sell shelving? She contacted my wife through this online space and bought goods over a hundred thousand dollars from me this year through my wife's page and the contact came so i'm trying to say that anything you're doing you sell brick and mortar kind of products you sell online services like cora you do dance you do anything showing it out there is important so at that point i could relate that oh 
So this whole online thing that came from Cora and somehow trip, trickled down to Nancy and now a customer, someone came from it and appreciated the shelf. $100,000. Yes, that I was selling. She bought the product and was still like appreciative that she loves Cora so much, she loves Nancy so much and it happened in Nigeria and I was just like wow, like she, there was no competition. Even though they, she contacted other competitors, but she couldn't just deal with it because she just knew she she's she has to be. I, I felt that energy, at, attraction towards Cora as regards her. She talked about the competition. There was best pricing, best product, but at the end of the day, I felt that that genuine love towards Cora through her purchasing. Because when we spoke, I could read the love for Cora. It was there. It wasn't like. I just want to buy from a random person. I want to buy from you because you're an in-law to Cora's sister. And I felt that energy and I appreciated that because my wife really called her, they spoke and everything. So that is to tell you that there is energy from Cora. You people that don't understand this online marketing thing. Before, I didn't understand it clearly, but now I understand it. Even if, it does, if it's not by stars, if you sell a product and you have visibility online, it's, it transmits to cash. So for me, Cora has a job because her job bettered appreciation through her to Nancy and through Nancy to me selling a, a, some product to a particular woman. She lives in the United States and she's a good Cora fan and several other ones. Even Nancy is a beneficiary of the online space because so many people bought her pot. You, you grab what I'm saying? So, so Cora, from today onwards, you have a real job. And we have stamped it, cut order. <laughs> <laughs> so all that, all that, um, you are jobless, go get a job. Spend time with your kids. I'm with my kids right now, she's right Thank there. Thank you, like, this, it's unfortunate, like, these kids can't be shown online, like, uh, so I just don't get the, the rationale, the reasoning from the other side that decided to initiate that process not to allow these kids to be shown online you grab so it's just but i'm with them it's not the fact that they're not you're not seeing them doesn't mean i'm not with them june is right there my nanny has athena who's sleeping like a, as a baby should right now you know so no i am with my kids don't ever think i'm not with my kids spend time with the kids i'm literally spending time with my kids it's better than having to go and clock in in a job and not even seeing them in the same premises so trust me it's it's a gift that keeps on giving you can never go wrong when you decide to be a creator like a content creator put yourself out there you never know it comes with some bad days but also some very beautiful days like today you know Star party, 16,000 stars. Thank you guys so much. Every day you bless me. Was. Was. <laughs> <laughs> the energy to even face this camera sometimes. The first time I faced the camera to speak, I, I forgot what I, was, I wanted to say. <laughs> it's not easy to look at on your page 2,000 people and you're able to say I will was like <laughs> Geraldine, thank you for 45 stars. Maricina, thank you so much for 100 stars. Appreciate you. Yeah, I see. Good. Mm. I this is up. baby bro good. <laughs> Cheta Junior. <laughs> no, you see, this one can show online. <laughs> Those ones cannot show. Why? Okay. So, next question. Shiba, thank you so much here. for 50 stars. Appreciate you, Shiba. Appreciate you. Much love. This question, I have to ask it. 30 stars. You have 30 stars. Oh, Maricina, thank you so much. He's a scammer. He's not a scammer. Bro code can pay your entire salary for a whole year. <laughs> this is a multi-millionaire. <laughs> I beg you. Hey! I, IRS people go, they find me now. Hey, hey, IRS, are you in America? You're not uh, America. LRS now. LRS. <laughs> Nigeria no, it's LRS. <laughs> I, don't have money. I, don't, I don't have money. Please, I don't have money. I don't wow. have I don't have money. He does have money. Oh, she, Send she, me stars. She, she. <laughs> so that I can be scamming. <laughs> I didn't have jacks. Thank you for 50 stars. I don't have money. You <laughs> broke code international. <laughs> no, the, the truth of the matter is you um you, you 
United States, it's be better to you can flex better here. Yeah. Back home, you can't do some of Jacqueline those things. Mary, thank you so much for 2,500 stars. Give her a wash. Wash, wash, wash. I'm not going to shake before they say, Look at this, how she's sleeping with her husband. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. That is a poor narrative to use because it's not. It's not realistic. It's not realistic. Renee Kovalan, thank you for a hundred stars. Appreciate you. And it's it's an on on nest on what what English should I use? It's an incorrect desire mm. to have. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me pay, tell you guys this thing. Even if I want cheat on Nancy, let, let me just say. No, no, go for it. No, no, no. The marriage you forever. No, it can't work. I, I'm not saying that. Even <laughs> if I want to do that, do you think? Cora is the best person to drive the desire towards. Doesn't make sense. Tracy there are Dolphin, one billion people out there steps. to drive the desires towards. But apart from that, that is not the main thing. You need. I, I need peace. I need sanity. It, it can't. You understand? So take on our mind on ourselves. Mary, Mary, how are you? <laughs> Mary, Mary. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Broke on when you are a preacher in your former life. <laughs> ah, it's a nice guy. I used to call the preacher boy now. They're calling you the preacher boy. I used to be called preacher, man. I used to be. I was so quiet and so like follow the 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 code, align, like order. <laughs> then you came and when, when I was saw you dancing in the silver bed, so I would be you know you used to invite us to your show. Mm -hmm. And Nancy and I will go to see bed watch. We'll be like, how does this transmit to money? How will you eventually transmit this dance to real money in the future? That Vokora kept doing it week in, week out, week in, week, week out. The, that body language Com company that you were in, a part of that time, with and the other guy, I don't want to say his name, mm -hmm. and the, you had three partners, mm -hmm. you were in the company. And every time you kept dancing, you, 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 you got signed by the Indian school. You got signed by several schools to teach them salsa and belly dancing and all that. And eventually, it's the pathway. When you look backwards, you see that it leads to somewhere. Good night, guys. Okay. So if, when you look backwards, let me wait for Cora to come, guys. Thank you. My regards to you guys. Yeah, someone said all sin starts in the mind. Yes, if you control your mind, what starts in the mind, you can control your behavior. Whatsoever you allow to generate, to germinate in your mind, is what becomes a reality. And if you have this, there's this book I need you guys to read. You know me, I always talk about books, books, books. I've read a lot of books. So I've read all Broco's recommendations. Yes. Lola, please, thank you for 99 stars. Appreciate you. Thank you, Medina Bella, for Medina 50 Medina Bella for 50 stars. Appreciate you. Good. There's this book called, it's, you know, you guys know it, Think and Grow Rich. There's this topic called The Art of Sexual Transmutation. It's a topic in the book. It's unpopular. But that topic can save one million people here. Yeah. When Cecil Elaine Vaughn, she said, Best answer those foolish people who think what you will destroy your dynamics. Oh, yes, mm -mm. Mm -mm. thank you, Cecil. Thank you, Cecil. For appreciate you. Appreciate it. So, like, whatsoever you accept into your mind to grow and germinate becomes a reality to what to you. So, when things related to sexual things come to you, maybe you should cheat or you should do one or two bad things as regards to your partner. You take that energy, transmute it, and direct it towards a creative course. Hmm. And you see that that energy yields far, far more things for you. For example, she knows someone sent you stars. Acknowledge. Joy Hands, thank you for 100 stars. When you come to Nigeria, you, you, I know you've said something like, Broco just walks, walks, walks. I don't you remember. Even your dad used to say that. I I, I told my wife one day, my wife said, Ah, you, you don't used to cheat because you don't have time. I said, I don't have time because yes, I, I decided to, to transmute the, the extra energy into work. I could if I, I work for myself, I could just not do those things and create time to do those kind of things. So it's all about your mind. When you transmute that energy in your mind 
towards a creative course, there won't be room for you to do some things that those little foxes that spoil the vine. You know, there's this book in the good book that said, take out the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vine. Okay, let me Broco, they are the one that is making me consider that maybe I will just, you know, follow a Nigerian man and go to the, you know, to the other side. Which other <laughs> side? Which side? They cannot bridge. No one is. Hey, so that is Broco for, for president. No, I'm just, I'm just using. Lola, thank you so thank much you, for your Lola. All so, the little foxes that spoil the vine. Basically, if you whatever you channel your energy, whatever yeah. you focus on will grow. If you want to focus on woman, you, yay, you carry woman. You go, they follow woman, they go. If you want to focus on your family, how, how family much is woman? Grow. In Lagos now, Lagos, Nigeria is going through a lot of economic problems. Woman is the cheapest thing to acquire if you want to acquire. <laughs> if you want 10,000 women, they are there. You don't have to spend so much. But you have to channel your energy into creative things that lift you up that uplift your soul, you know, that is how to escape some of these things because as long as we are existing, there will be, men will be scum, men will be, there will be a lot of scum, scumish men. It's all about the mind. If you can protect your mind, you're not going to deviate, okay? No. And Nancy is lovely. Who wants to hurt someone like that, eh? Please don't hurt our uh -uh. I, will, I will find you. You don't even need to talk. Will, Wait till you want to talk. Eh? You don't have to say it. You don't have to say it. Eh? <laughs> man, that's come. Oh. You don't trust no man. You don't trust man. <laughs> no, no, no. You can trust men, you know. It's, it's all in the mind. There is no right or wrong person. It's all about what you are allowed to. If you, even a pastor, if you start feeding your mind with or allowing this the bad seeds to drop it becomes so big that you can't control it so when they come you need to transmute the energy and towards a creative course if you if you don't understand what i'm saying because it's more of a high level kind of talk then you need to understand how to communicate with your subconscious mind when when ideas drop you need to Take that idea, if it is not a strong, a good idea, you transmute it, turn it into positive ideas. That is how to communicate with your mind. You don't allow your mind to carry anything. Ah, the depressed, depressive thoughts come, you allow it to drop. Um, cheating thoughts come, you allow it to drop. Murderous thoughts come, you allow it. Lazy thoughts, all the thoughts. No, when these negative thoughts come in, you take them, transmute them. If by prayer, if you're religious or if you practice yoga, you can do any of this and you transmit them and channel them into a creative course and they will go. You find out that you are not bound by all these things. You have a different kind of person though, somehow. I mean, not, I don't allow <laughs> That There's positivity in my side. I may be quiet, but that is why you find out that it reflects towards Nancy. Because there's this thing, I just have to, I don't, those negative things can't germinate. Even poverty, poverty is in the mind. You might live in a poor economy, but if your mindset is rich, you can transmit poverty thoughts. If you read enough, you read enough and you act enough, you can transmit those poverty thoughts into creative energy to transmit into wealth. You might not be as rich as Elon Musk, but you will be rich to be able to provide enough for yourself to, to live out of want. You understand what I'm saying? There are several things to do out there and I can't understand why some people living in America with all the riches in America, if you're not, if you're sane and you're not sick and you're, 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 you're actually homeless, that is, that is a school of thought for those in very good economies. If you're not sick and you don't have mental problems and you're sane, you need to work on your mind to be able to transmute negativity to prosperity. Oh, no, she, she will soon be done. So, so guys, no, you can't call me. No. You want to hug me now? You can't hug her now. <laughs> you, have, you have been ordered not to hug her now. No. It's a court order. <laughs> um, yeah, so Tasha Nicole, thank you for 100 stars. So, Broco, is there any more interview questions or you good?
Okay. Should I ask this one? How? I don't want to ask it. Ask it. I'm, are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Ask it. When you go to exchange the kids, what goes through your mind? You know I didn't mention name. I just want to hear your own perspective. When every other week you go to take the kids or, or give me the kids, how do, what goes through your mind? Because for me, it's too much for me. I, I, but I want to hear. I don't want to say my own perspective. So I want to hear your own. What goes through your mind? You go on on end of. They are here now. When the, the time finishes, go take that time of exchanging. How do you feel? Up out, up out. Okay. They are so good. Mm -hmm. and then you just jump up out of the land. Yeah. You wanna watch what? Ice cream. You want ice cream? Is there ice cream? Boo boo. Can you open the freezer and take ice cream for three of you? Okay. Hi. Um at first that was my most horrible part of my my life. Just going to drop off my daughters not having any clue what is going on in the other party's house you know not having any control whatsoever um the way i used to do it is i would drop them off and i would distract myself for the for seven days just continuously distract myself um the beginning of this year it became a lot better yes any ones you want okay. hope it doesn't expire a lot of this this house expired <laughs> They are not you expired. You buy something six months, you know, it's in it. <laughs> we had to throw away almost half of the things in this house. Expired. But I know the job. Buy and you will not eat. I don't have anybody in the house. Just keep buying and nobody's eating. Okay, so at first, I would drop them off and distract myself with a trip or, you know, a shoot or something. I just put my entire head into my career and my business. And that's what I'm still doing, but it has become easier. I noticed that with time, things are a lot easier. Okay, okay, so time heals all wounds, and it's easier with time. But any time I drop off, and I have to see, you know, I first thing I do is I say a prayer, and then I ask Jen, "Are you okay? How was how was um how was Daddy's house? Was it good? You know?" And then. I can only hope for the best because I really don't have anything that I can do. Geraldine Patton, thank you for 45 stars. So yeah, that's it. Great, great. Okay. Um, because it's your story and re your reality and you're currently walking through it, which is not Just easy. not having any clue what's going on with your kids for a whole week and just seeing them again and just like having to ask them you know, and just relying on their ex explanations. It's very gut-wrenching, but it, it is what it is. Esinam, thank you so much for 50 stars. Appreciate you. Okay. So, another question from that question. The other party had been pushing to have sole custody, which backfired, leading to the kids not being online. Why did you push for sole custody? Because I don't want my children to have daddy issues. What is daddy issues? A girl who has daddy issues is very easily manipulated. She can be manipulated by men. They usually, they usually are not. They just, they, women, girls just need their fathers, and I don't want my children to be separated from their father. He might have been a horrible husband to me, but that doesn't mean that he's not going to be a good father. And I don't want them to live without a father. You know, so that's what I've always known at the back of my mind that whatever happens between us doesn't have to affect the kids. But then I think it's only me that has known that because so far I've been fighting for joints and the other party is fighting for so, so constantly. You know, good, good, which I also concur to because kids are supposed to be trained by the two parents for them to actually get the, the best. best from both of them. Okay, great. Mm. So, if you have an opportunity, will you like to move back to Nigeria? Mm. 
like, that question did hit you wrongly, right? <laughs> let me, let me, okay, okay, let me see. If the, why I'm saying if you have an opportunity because you're tied to the kids, but if the opportunity, if it was possible that you could still get your kids every week, is it like something like? I love you guys in America. You guys are so sweet. I love you so much. But like yesterday, I'm straight back home. Like that's my home. I grew up there. I was there for 20 years before I started to travel. You know, I love Nigeria. I love African countries. I love being in Africa. Something about us being close to the Atlantic Ocean for me is very important to me. That's why you see I always go to Nigeria every opportunity I get. <laughs> You know, because it's grounding, it's home. I enter the continent and the smell of peace that hits me at the airport is so home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's just something about the bangles and just the people and the shouting and the noise and the beautiful downfall buses and the smoke. It's just something <laughs> <laughs> downfall buses, oh my god. <laughs> it's just something about just going to Nancy's kitchen and eating Nancy's food, mm. hugging broke code. That's my that food. <laughs> And just my father, huh? Judy said what is so funny. What's so funny is going to Nigeria. I love going to Nigeria, my love. I love America, but this place is definitely more of my ex-husband's home than it is my home. Um, Nigeria is my home, is my country. It's where I'm from. Always going to be my home. I was born and bred there, raised there. Um, I love going there all the time. Every time I have an opportunity, I'm... You know, but I am a mom, so this is a full time thing for me. I have yeah. to be here you have to for be my here. kids, you know. But no, <laughs> that's why you see me. I'm always like, ah, I'm out. Yes. <laughs> it's two weeks every time I'm in Nigeria. Yeah. So, what the next question? What if Mr. J remarries? I will be so happy for him, and he will be a lot happier, you know. And a happy father is a happy, I'm happy husband. Uh, happy. It's a happy father. So happy. As long as the woman is good to my kids, that's it, you know? That's it. Okay, okay. Then what could you have done differently in your marriage? If you had your if you if you could turn back the hands of time. <laughs> yes, because so many people are learning, you know. So I have to ask what the question you're expecting and the ones you're not expecting, but I think it's not what, so what would I have done differently? Differently. If you could rewind time back to maybe um, some years ago or months. I'll definitely say airing, airing marital things online is very bad. Though. Just keep your private life private. Marital things and airing it online, I, I will not advise even my biggest enemy. No, when you say marital things, you never aired any marital things. I thing never did. Until the day until of, the day of repeat, it. repeat it, repeat it, you know? What you aired was just content, like jumping around, dancing and all that. But like, the main thing, I, I don't think you aired it. I mean, you know what? If I think about it, I don't know what I've done because I think that I'm at peace today because I know I did everything I could have done, you know? So I don't know what I would have done. I made sure that I exhausted all my resources in therapy, in everything, in couples therapy, counseling, everything. I exhausted all my resources so that I will not have any regrets if anything happened. So I don't know what I would have done differently, you know? And it takes more than one person to make marriage work. So you need two parties to make it work. And if, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I exhausted all my resources. I will tell you for a fact, bro, could I did everything I could. I did everything. Yeah, I could. Our, our kitchen was, was where you guys used to set to her more than three times. They took she would take flights to Lagos. Just to, after two days, Mr. J will take flights. Then kitchen set to set to mediate, mediate. Go to mountain of fire, they pray for us. Sometimes, they, they are hand, I'll, I'll just be yeah, I'll be there, I'll just be tired. I'll go to sleep. Now I wake up Nancy still talking, settling. How more? I said now, nah, but eventually. So the next question. What happened? Mommy. Who's mommy? Nancy. Oh. But that is our mom, right? She's just waking up. Simone Alexander, thank you for fifty stars. The Nancy. So I want to ask this one. It's acknowledged. Would you? Would you? Would you, would you I don't know. This question is not, it's going to hit you off, but you're going to answer it. 
your distort. What if Mr. G refuses? Proposed. Nancy, don't say stop doing this so we cannot answer. <laughs> Nancy is not approving. <laughs> okay. No, 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 skip questions. Well, skip questions this one, uh, this this one is too personal. Mm. Nancy is a die hard. Mm. <laughs> everything is too serious. Yeah, no, Nancy is still safe. Now everything goes, now she goes to save everything. June, that side, that side, eh? Okay, good job. If you want to drink water, go drink some water. Okay. Mm. This is a very, very tell all interview. Yes, tell all interview. Just say it, say it as it is. Bro, it is very beautiful. Will you allow your wife to join her in the business? Like good business. Will you allow her to join it? <laughs> My wife doesn't sing now. And what do you, what do you want me to say to you? Eh? Business? I wish I could sing, say. Nancy says no more questions. No more questions. No, no more. We can just ask neutral questions. Mm -hmm. Belinda Paul Watson, thank you for 50 stars. We don't need to call anybody's name. Mr. J or whatever name. Not, that, no. But it's not the only Mr. J. It could be Jackson. No, no. Or no. Johnson. Let's not even Or him. Jerry. Not at all. He's not invited. Or John Paul. Yeah. <laughs> not, <Yeah. laughs> not invited here. Not invited here. Okay, okay, okay. Ask me about things in the present. Okay, things in the present. Okay, I need to ask what are your what is your vision? What is your vision with this brand Cora? How do you see Cora in the next five years? Cora is going to be an international brand recognizable for great music, great entertainment, great everything great. I seen <laughs> this one. Great everything. Come on, sit down. You are going to drink another one now. I finished it. What? It's made of parchment. Yeah, it's fine. Now it's made of parchment. I feel like that is fine. I thought we were supposed to go out. No, I was supposed to go to somewhere real quick, but I didn't go again. Aren't you just coming back from somewhere real quick? Sorry, ma. I've come back soon. What is that? We are not here. When did I come back? She came back like since. I've come back before you go. Not around. Hey, no. Like almost three hours, four hours or four. Yes. She was here at four o'clock. So, international Cora. So, I need to also ask do you see yourself growing in the music? industry or the dance or the online community just influencing and influencing and i believe that the limits that we place on ourselves are the limits that we allow mm. and for me i am limitless mm. my my thoughts my actions and everything align with my unlimitedness i am not limited to growing in only one space i am expanding in all these spheres of my life in my online community i am quadrupling in my music, I am expanding. In my dancing, it's triple, 10xing. And as for my lovers, Koreans, I'm going to be giving them the best value for their followership that they've ever gotten from any artist. They're going to value following me because it's always going to be a remarkable experience with me. Nothing less. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> You farted. Nancy no, farted. <laughs> she farted. <laughs> farted and Jude accused Nancy of being the one. <laughs> but I don't know. I knew Fat was the um, one against this. Jude everywhere in this living room. Some people in this guy asked me without supervision. The whole kitchen wall, she has broken. So I used to have her on the floor. Okay, great. Hmm. Should I ask you this question? Are you an Ashawo? <laughs> Answer. Are you an Ashawo? Yes. No, I'm not an Ashawo. <laughs> so, how 
What is the fine line between a non ashawu and an ashawu? A shawu is someone who may, has had mm -hmm. sexual relations for money. I've never done that in my life, and I will never do that. That question <laughs> came from one of your your followers, so I had to make you answer Are you the question. Babe, <laughs> live our life. This is not you. That question I, I'm asking. Are you pushing me? Why is your team blurry? I don't know. He, his own has focus. I have a chore of him and I do this. You're technically not in your life. <laughs> yeah. Why you to live your life? I don't know why it's like that. I don't yeah, know. So you don't have any right to talk to me. Okay. Yes, ma. Life that is not even monetized. Better get out of this place. You are supposed to remove your phone. Yes, ma. But his life has stars now. Eh, uh, but it's not monetized now. Yeah, you go happy man, so your buying life is not monetized. Uh -huh. It's in your yeah, business. Monetized life, you're talking. It's in your talking. <laughs> it's everything about monetization. Eh, uh, but I mean, don't tell me to leave the land. Everything else is really good. Who is. Nobody called into this life. <laughs> Wait for your own time. Uh, everything is not too serious. <laughs> uh, everything is serious. Mm. So, you, you, you've heard it. She's never sold sex for cash. So, that is the definition of an ashawo, okay? An ashawo is someone that maybe online, if you DM them, that's how much. They tell you that a night is $50 or $100 or 20,000 naira or 50,000 naira. So she doesn't do that and don't label bring that narrative, okay? That is period. I had to address some of those people that... I've never Just done that. I'll never do, do that. Such. And if if um if I was that and that thing that happened to me during my divorce happened, you will see all my customers coming. Yeah, out to, yeah. Thank you. Say, yeah, exactly. All her customers <laughs> from her customers. <laughs> yes. So they'll come and tell you how they experienced me. You understand? Nothing like that. I'm not that, and I'll never be that. You know. So that's not me. For me, the women who do that, I respect them. It's their own choice, it's their own um, you know, prerogative, but it's not mine. I'm not that and I don't want to be that. All I do is create music, create beautiful videos, love on my lovers, they love on me back, and that's what we do. That's all we do. That's all we do. We don't do Ashewo, no. No Ashewo. Good, good. For those that don't understand what is Ashewo, Ashewo means like... Um, Ron's girl or call girls, right? Is hook, up, hook up, H hook up, <laughs> hook up. <laughs> well, hook up is a very um, like refined word name for a show. Mm. Hook up, hook up, show. <laughs> <laughs> hook up sounds like homely girl that still gets money but comes back home and, and aligns and pretends, you know. <laughs> but a show is like, I'm out for the money, I need to be on the street. <laughs> How much? Not work, yo. Not management. Yo. <laughs> you got to pay me your money. Good. I can't shower. So you guys, you understand now that being a female and acquiring a house or something doesn't mean it's gotten through hookup. She sings, she dances, she got streaming revenue, she got money from YouTube and all that. So that a woman is prosperous does not mean the woman did a shower work. So. That narrative should never come. It's actually very dated. Very it's outdated. Date, yes. Here in America, women even make more money more than men. Yeah, yeah. You know, so so women are ballers, short colors. Most of my Koreans that keep me afloat, they are women. They are ball yeah, yeah. They are women. I've seen your um, this thing, like 95% are women. Are women, like, yeah. How? Wow. Because I, I love them, they love me too. You know what's up? Women are ballers. And so the narrative that a woman who is thriving is definitely having some sexual relations with somebody to make money is not a, it's not a, it's not a realistic narrative. Diane Turner, thank you for 100 stars. Appreciate you. Good. You have something to say, Nancy? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever Nancy is around, if you, if you want to do life, you have to. Why is no next one? You have to. Hello. Ah. Hello, hey, Gongo. Ah, why did you remove the network? Because it's slowing it down. Oh, it's different from your phone. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So okay. when Nancy is around, you have to I like respect your help and align, you know. <laughs> align. 
But she's a good person. Nancy did the right thing to put a stop to the questions because all these bloggers are waiting for you exactly. Antonia Magui, thank you for 50 stars. She says she has God given talents. She has no need to get strange change. Mm. Mm. The business women have their back. Her back. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. So, are you trying or going to go into business, Rachel? You, you, you once talked about selling some, like, opening brand of some products, maybe cosmetics and all that. Do you plan to do something like that in the future? Yes. Once I'm able to, you know, figure it out, you know, like the appropriate channels and know how I'm going to go about it. Yes. Okay. I intend to do it. In America? In, in, in America. Baton? In America, America. Okay. back home too. I want to, I want to do it in America and also back home. But it's just something that I need to figure out before you know, before I take the necessary steps because business is very vicious. <laughs> People are not smiling out there in the market. So if I start, you know, I should be able to, you know, yeah. know what I'm doing. You know? Have Amazon to compete with. Right. I have everybody to compete with. Once you say you're doing, look at when Kylie came out with her thing. Everybody fake Kylie. Kylie look is fake. Okay, so I think we are. You already want plantain? Is it the fried plantain? I think there's no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, no. You have a cut order. <laughs> All right. So, think right now. The, the interview time is up. Wow, that was a very intense one. <laughs> yes. So, you guys, we debunked. We talked about several things. We debunked a lot of things. Thank you, Broco. I appreciate yeah. you. You're yeah, welcome. So, guys, this is my sister for life. Not just a sister in law, she's even a sister in fact. Because we did. We understand ourselves, and we understand everybody. You see, my, you know your dad, now my guy. Do you know your dad? We, are, we used to rap, like, sometimes we did Wakago chop together. Not like father in law that you'll be saying, ah, hey, daddy, good. I greet him, I respect him, but like we are, but we be guys, you understand? That is how me I relate. Not with my sister, I forget. Forget. With mutual respect. Thank you, Rocco. Appreciate you. Yeah. So that was me and Rocco's interview. Wow. Interview. wow. <laughs> Nancy's problem. Let me just open my yash. I need to open my yash. She has a problem with your diction. She has a problem with your how you choose words. She, now she's still even having a problem with me right now, so I don't know. The f All right, guys. Come on.